By now, many of us have heard about the intense stress, anxiety, and depression that has occurred with teenagers during the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been a seriously tough time for all of us, but especially for those young folks, it has been, well, it's been a trying period. Hope Means Nevada is a community-based initiative of a nonprofit Nevada Medical Center, and they are focused on reversing this trend. Absolutely. Sierra Bellavance, she is the executive director of Hope Means Nevada, joining us now uh, from, is that your home or your office? Where are you? My home. Oh, very nice. I like <laughs> what you've done home. with the wall treatment there. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Thank See, you. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, is, this is the cool thing with the show is we, actually, we get a peek at what other people are doing, and then we get to steal right. it and put it in our homes. Yeah. Uh, so You're right in my house. <laughs> there it is. So let's talk about this. We're in your real house with with Hope Means Nevada and 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 what your mission is because uh, you you've noticed over the past year in particular, it's been a challenging year, uh, really kind of like a mental health stress test. Yes, for sure, and definitely for our teens as well. Um, they were pulled out of everything they know, right? And it was during spring break of last year, so it was we'll just be out for a week and then till summer, and then it's just continuing. And we're starting to go back now, but there's still a lot of stress and pressure and social isolation that they're put under that I can't even imagine um, what that feels like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, humans, we're social creatures and to be removed from all your friends, it can be, you know, really, really devastating and bring you to places that are dark you haven't been to before. Um, you're combating that. Uh, you have an event coming up. Speaking of people getting together. Yes, so right now we are actually running, um, April is National Stress Awareness Month, and um, I don't know a single person who isn't under stress right now. So we are running on all of our social media channels, um, National Stress Awareness Month, so it's Ask Five to Smash Stress. Um, and we have experts from everywhere. We have professional athletes that are joining us, suicide survivors, and it's all through um, social media. So you just can tune in uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have lives. And then Tuesday, Thursday, we're posting uh, questions or thoughts or any, uh, tips on um, how to reduce stress. Yeah. And I think it's important just, it's better than just putting up an Instagram post that says, be less stressed with like a little flower right. next to it. <laughs> like to actually right. show, yeah, you know what? Other people are going through this experience too. Here's actual tangible ways to be able to do this. Um, Hope Means Nevada, you actually have a team committee. Tell us about this committee and how uh, people can volunteer and get involved with it. Yeah, so our team committee is the brightest light in this whole pandemic. Um, they're a group of teens who, it was really organic. They just got together and wanted to join us in helping their friends. You know, um, people are struggling and they, they recognize that. And so our team started the team committee. It's chaired by two wonderful um, high school girls, Caroline and Lauren Edgeworth. And they really just, um, they, we meet monthly and they help us with every aspect of the campaign. Um, so it's not just an adult telling a teen, feel better. You know, it's yeah. really teens talking to teens and they're actually leading our stress awareness month. So all of our interviews are done by the teens um, and we, we work with them on every aspect. They're really amazing. Oh, it's so great to see local teens stepping up to the bat and, and helping, you know, their friends. It's amazing. You have something called the Ask Five. What is that? Yes. So that's how our campaign originally started. That's kind of our trademark. Um, and we're really asking people to ask five of their friends how they're how they're honestly doing. Right. So many times it's how are you good? And then you go about your day. But that's not really getting to the root of how people are feeling. Yeah. Um, and then just starting those conversations, especially with social distancing, you know, it's it's reaching out and seeing how people are actually feeling. Yeah. Don't just uh, rely on what they're putting on their Instagram story usually fake. right uh, yeah exactly yeah that's, that's definitely not asking, it's not <laughs> go beyond anyway. that um mm -hmm. and it's it, easy for everyone to do right yeah um it's not it's not hard to reach out to five people and ask them how they're doing no and i think oh. you know when, when when you know when you when the warning signs are there and you see you know what there's a friend of mine that is just i know they're going through it i tell they're they're really stressed like beyond something that i might be able to help like what do you do in that case i think there's a part of helplessness as the outsider looking in and saying, oh, what do, how do I help? Right. And so that's one of the main reasons Hope Means Nevada was even created is because so many teens don't know where to go. Um, and, and parents, you know, concerned parents or adults. And yeah. so our goal is really to be 
a place where you can go to our website, homingsnevada.org, and find the resources that you need quickly um, without digging through, you know, going through insurance or millions of different pamphlets, um, really to yeah. find out if they need help, where they can go, um, and the professional resources that they can find. It's just great what you're doing, Sierra. We really appreciate it. You're bringing, you're bringing some bright light and positivity to the Valley. So thank you so much. Yeah, of course. We're really excited. We also have our second annual Rising Hope Festival coming up in November. Wow. Um, our first year was all virtual, but it's art, music, poetry, um, just really connecting people. And so that will be hybrid this year, which we're really excited about. So hopefully we can get some teens and their families in to join us live. And JJ's dog. Uh, and my is, dog, he's very excited Sarah, about it. Your dog is welcome. <laughs> congratulations on everything. And uh, it's really important work that you're doing. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. And if there's any teens or their families that want to get involved, um, we have a committee that meets monthly and then our teens meet monthly as well. So you can find more information on our website. And I can also uh, leave my email if anybody's interested. Absolutely. HopeMeansNevada.org if you'd like to. Uh, visit and learn more about their volunteering opportunities and their team committee, frankly, doing a really important work. You can also follow them on social media at Hope Means Nevada. Hope Means Nevada, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.